Network, MotherThMother.com. Let's take a look at PayPal and Square. We can see that the two stocks have had an amazing run. If you go back to the laws here, or let's say this movement here from 2017, 2018, that's a huge run up. We're talking about here, we just begin where it was trading in 2017 or around, let's call it 17. Right now trading as high as 92. Huge run up for Square. Take a look at PayPal. We also see a successful move over the last two years. It was trading at about 40, 41 in the beginning of 2017. And now we've gone as high as 93, give or take. Now the question is, what next? What I say here in terms of a short term swing trade to begin with, is if we take a look at the two hourly, and I'm gonna keep this brief. On the two hourly, anybody looking for a swing trade can use this opportunity here, because we see an improvement in the prices to new highs, but we can see this is showing the RSI declining. We can see that this high has come with the RSI stalling around the 61.8 level. Suggesting there could be a swing trade here to the downside to begin with. We might also be staring at major highs. All that is dependent on how things develop after the pullback that the two hourly is predicting. We can also see based on our uniformity resistance. This is the recent warning high. We've come back to test this level. And as of right now, we can see visual evidence of resistance. This points to expect a pullback based on this formation for PayPal. If you take a look at squares two hourly, we can also see something similar here. We've seen prices probing new all-time highs over the last couple of days. But this has come with the RSI making lower and lower highs. So clearly that is negative divergence. We can see the RSI has been stalling around the 61.8 over the last couple of trading hours. So that again gives us the indication of the strongest type of negative divergence. More importantly, if we take a look at the MACDs, we see that the MACDs have also been giving us negative divergence in step with the RSI. And there's the development here that the MACDs are just about to move zero or one of the MACDs. The other one is breaking recent MACD lows. And this break of MACD lows suggests that over time it might have to go back below zero. So we can see here the MACD is not looking too strong, especially when and if both of the MACDs are below zero. Chances are we are looking at instruments that are due for a, at least a major pullback or before a recovery or maybe even major, major highs. But for now, we can say that at the very least, it looks like the setup for a swing trade is in the works. One can expect some price action to the downside if one is inclined and able to trade the short side of these two stocks. Now, I should emphasize here, what could go against this in terms of the quality of these two names is we have to respect the upside possibility. And the reason is very simple. It is because of this RSI. RSI has been trading above 69.1 all the way back to here. So if it clears recent highs, you want to close that trade is what I'm saying. And that is for Square. If you take a look at PayPal, the same thing. RSI has been trading above 69.1. Going back to the middle of early of 2017. So the risk is if it clears recent intraday highs here, you want to make sure you get out of that short position because the RSI continues to be trading above 69.1. But bottom line, based on what we've looked at here in terms of the hourly, 
for paper and the hourly for square using the intraday high as a stop for PayPal at 93 point make sure I get this right 93.70 as your stop one can go short and if you take a look at squares intraday high at 92.39 one can place a short short and see what happened now remember even though we have the intraday highs and we are using those as our stops that's fine but sometimes it makes sense to set your stops a little bit higher so as not to necessarily be stopped out so you know if you take squares close here intraday high of 92.39 sometimes it even makes more sense to set your stop a little bit higher so that you don't get stopped out by you know the fact that there's a lot of stops at this high so you can set yours a little bit above this so as not to be stopped out unnecessarily now if square is gonna pull back if SQ is gonna pull back if PayPal is gonna pull back PYPL chances are we are looking at the stock market also showing possibility especially if the Dow fails to break out above that 26 149 level and change think and change if the Dow is unable to break out we might also be looking at a market that is setting the stage at the very least for a short-term pullback we'll see how it goes Eric Moore with mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e I see s Woo.